Welcome back. One in eight women in the U.S. will be diagnosed with breast cancer in their lifetime. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, a great time to remind people to get their annual screenings, but there's just so much information out there. It can get overwhelming for women, so we wanted to break it all down for you. Dr. Cassan Blake is here now with me. Dr. Blake is a surgical oncologist at the Department Chair of Breast Services at Cleveland Clinic Weston Hospital. Dr. Blake, thank you so much for being with us. So all that overwhelming information, right, especially when it seems like we get these new guidelines all the time about when you should get your mammogram, how often you should get your mammogram. It feels like the advice at times can seem a bit contradictory. So what's Correct. your advice, not just to your patients, but like what would you tell your best friend or, or the women in your life? Um, so what we love to promote is annual screening mammography. Um, and starting at age 40 uh, is the right time to start getting an annual mammogram. There are some women who may be able to get mammograms at a less frequent schedule. However, that means you know what your risk is for breast cancer. And most people don't know what that number is. Most people don't know if they're at average risk. So as a general rule, most breast specialists or breast health doctors are going to recommend an annual screening mammogram starting at 40. And as far as calculating that risk, would this yeah. be you know, genetic testing? Would this be just talking to your doctor about your family history and, and your own risk factors? How could they find out their risk? Unfortunately, um, most um, imaging facilities and um, at the Cleveland Clinic, risk is being calculated at the time of your mammogram and is being incorporated into your mammogram report so that your provider would better know how to guide you on what the screening recommendations should be for you. All right. Outside of that, it means speaking to a specialist about your risk and having your risk calculated. Okay, let's talk about dense breasts specifically. Mm -hmm. You hear it, a lot of women are told this and they're like, what does that even mean? So first, what are dense breasts that more than 40% of women have and how could that impact the screening process for them and what steps they need to take? So um, there's a little bit of a misconception that dense breasts is how your breasts feel to you when you're doing a self breast exam. Breast density is a mammographic finding. And the whiter your breast tissue appears on mammogram, the harder it is for a radiologist to detect a cancer because cancers appear to be white on mammography. Mm. So it's the ratio of the fatty tissue to that white more of the stroma, the dense uh, parenchyma that's in the breast. Density is defined as four different categories. 50% of women are dense. But that is normal. It's a normal um, finding to have dense breast tissue. The question is, what do we do about it? And what should they do? Should they be asking their, their doctor for screening beyond a mammogram? So first, mammography should ideally be a 3D mammogram or a mammogram with tomosynthesis, which is really good at overcoming some of the density. In addition, supplemental screening, such as an annual breast ultrasound, may be appropriate. For women who are at high risk of breast cancer, being defined as greater than 20% lifetime risk, a breast MRI may be the appropriate screening modality instead of an ultrasound. There are a few women who are getting triple imaging, mammography, ultrasound, and MRI, but most women are likely okay if they're dense with a mammogram and an ultrasound, and if appropriate, a mammogram and an MRI. And that's where it comes back to knowing your risk. Correct. Dr. Blake, thank you so much for your insight here. I'm sure you've answered a lot of people's questions, and I hope that they, you know, get on the phone, call their doctor tomorrow to schedule their screening. And we hope that you'll join me and the CBS Miami team at the Susan G. Komen More Than Pink Walk. You can catch us at Amelia Earhart Park in Hialeah on Saturday, October 19th at 8 a.m. Just use that QR code on the screen to register.